Hello and welcome everyone. It is Wednesday, August 8th, 2018. This is just a quick tip on a book I think you're going to want to buy in the next little bit before the price gets stupid on it. Um, it revolves around the new Hellboy movie coming out January 11th, 2019. There hasn't been a trailer that's dropped for this yet, so uh, a lot of people aren't really paying any attention to it. But um, just so you're aware who the character... So David Harbour, who's from Stranger Things, cop in Stranger Things, he's playing Hellboy. And I've seen images of him in his makeup. He looks really good. And Mila Jovovich is going to be playing Nimue, the Blood Queen. And that's the important character because she's going to be the main villain in this comic. Or, sorry, in this movie. Um, and the movie apparently is going to be a lot truer to the comics and a lot darker. So it's going to be an R-rated movie. Uh, that's according to Mike Mignola, who's the, who's the writer. Um, so the book you're going to want, I'm going to put that image of that on the screen, is Hellboy number 2, or sorry, Hellboy, The Wild Hunt number 2 came out January 09. That is the first appearance of Nim Nimue as the Blood Queen in, um, in comics. So that is one you're going to want to get. It's a black cover, so it's going to be tough to get one in really good shape because as you're all aware, the black cover is going to be a real bitch with dings on the spine and corners and everywhere else. Um, it's a low print run. There's It's under 23,000 print run on this, so there's not a lot of them out there. And uh, just disclaimer right up front, I bought one off eBay, that's it. I only bought one copy. And uh, when I bought them, there was three on eBay. And I just looked before I did this video, there was two. One is a full set, um, one to eight, because there's eight uh, in that um, series. And there's one single one. The single one looks like it's pretty rough grade. So um, I highly recommend you dig through some of your bins at your comic stores, or if you've got a honey hole somewhere, and look for it. Um, you should be able to find a couple copies here and there for, you know, really bargain basement prices. And that's going to be a really good one to get. Once that trailer drops, man, that's <laughs> that's going to be, that's going to do well. Um, and I'll just give you a real quick history of the Blood Queen. Um, she was a medieval sorceress who wanted, basically wanted to destroy all life on the planet. She lived during the reign of King Arthur and she was loved by Merlin, who was uh, King Arthur's uh, top sorcerer. And she used his knowledge to imprison him in a grave for all of eternity. And then that knowledge that she gained drove her mad and became a basically a crazy, uh, powerful witch. So all the other witches uh, gathered up, to, uh, ganged up her on her and killed her and cut her into pieces and spread her pieces all over the planet, trying to, you know, get rid of her. Problem is, with through her magic and everything, all the pieces would um, come back together and re rejoin and regenerate. So they buried her in a box, a big wooden box, deep inside the earth, which was guarded. And um, centuries later, the box was um, brought back out. And they tried to resurrect her, but couldn't. So a bunch of blood from the, uh, basically all the people in this village nearby were killed. And all their blood was collected and poured into the box where her body was. And that resurrected her. And at that, from that point on, she became known as the Blood Queen. And that is in um, Hellboy, The Wild Hunt number two, like I say, which came out in January 09. So that is a book you're going to want to get because she's going to be the main villain in um, the new Hellboy movie coming out in January 2019. Looks like a good one. Um, it's going to be, like I say, it's going to be R-rated and a lot darker. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that one. I think that's going to be good. I enjoyed the first two Hellboy movies. I thought they were a little, uh, I don't know, too goofy, though, the, especially the second one. But uh, anyways, it's a really good book. Take a look for that um, if you can, if you can find it in some bins somewhere. Try to pick it up cheap. Um, more than likely what will happen in the next week or so, the prices, you know, people will dig through their bins and find some or go find some in their long boxes and put them up on eBay for $50, $60. I can't say that I recommend buying it at that price, but uh, if you can find it cheap, definitely pick it up. So anyways, there you go. Take care for now. Talk to you later. Bye.